Good morning and welcome back to Subsistence. Hopefully our tomatoes will be done any moment now. And just having a little look on the horizon, see if we can see any rogue camps. And yeah, I'm not seeing anything, so looks like they haven't moved back into the immediate area yet. And I'm hoping the uh, hunters are still off licking their wounds after the drubbing they got uh, on the last raid that they tried. Okay, we have tomatoes. Awesome. Nice. We're going to need more tomatoes now that we've got the, uh, the animals. And in here we have the uh, animal species from the chickens. Wondering about whether to plant another set. Hmm, I've got enough. I've got enough for two. Two more trays, actually. Sounds like there's an early morning wolf waiting for some grief. We've still got plenty of power. If we put a small amount of copper in, I'm um, just doing a small amount so that we don't lose everything uh, during the day when we're out. Let's see how the fire's doing. Fire's okay. And um, what we'll do is we will split one and we'll put the rest of these tomatoes away. There we go. Right, so let's put the iron away. We don't have a lock pick. We could make another one. Did we make one last time? I can't remember. Maybe we made one and didn't get it out. We did! <laughs> I thought it sounded like a, a recent idea that we'd done. Uh, I couldn't quite remember where I'd put it. Um, how are we doing food wise? We are going to need to eat, but we have eggs on us, so it's not an immediate concern. So let's go down and check how the animals are doing, see if they need food. And then we'll go on a, uh, a lovely loot run in this fabulous game. I love the way the shadow has the, uh, the helmet incorporated into it. That's a nice touch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that wolf is... Uh... Oh, they're level three now. Level three chickens. Oh, the, the uh, well is on, in fact. Didn't realise the well was on. We'll just grab that water. Okay, let's see. All right, we've got some chicken, uh, some eggs again. We'll put the tomato in. Hopefully, that will take care more than uh, take care of the food and water situation. And we've dropped them a water in anyway. Oops. Yep, they seem quite happy about that. I can see uh, the rabbit in the background. Here comes an early morning wolf. not going to bother with him because we've got so much food and I'd like to just get some looting looting done today to be honest so uh, I'll try not to shoot the shotgun I will try my very best oh, where he is is that in there? That's clever. Oh, there's one there as well. Where were we surrounded this morning? Yeah, okay. Oh, 
Okay, so let's have a scoot around and see what we can find. I might do a bit of logging today. I haven't done any for a while. Grab some, uh, get some plants manufactured. And maybe, uh, maybe start a little bit of building. Keep an eye on that wolf over there. Yep, it's coming, coming this way. Okay, I think I caught all of those, so... Pretty good login for change. So many animals around this morning. So I hope you're having a great day. had some visitors uh, at home today so um, I'm on here quite late it's not actually morning but it is in the game I think I might go this way for a change yep Nice to have a few visitors in the house today and uh, catch up. There's so much horrible stuff going on in the world. It's nice to hear of some uh, normal, normal life going on, you know. Okay, I think I did drop one. There we go. Wow, there's quite a big area here. Just uh, the fence just dog legs along to the left a little bit. Um, this is where Bish has built his base. It's coming along nicely. I was watching his video um, just recently actually, the latest one. I think he's got the roof completely sealed up now. I do enjoy watching people's um, creations on video. What they end up building, it's quite interesting. Different locations people pick. And there's a couple of crates here, just make sure there's nothing around first before we head in. And uh, I noticed um, Game Edge has started his new season. So that's going to be great watching where he uh, sets up and the kind of base that he ends up building this time round. Okay, there's a couple of crates over here. We'll go and grab those. So I think um, Game Edge is on his like eighth or ninth season of subsistence. It's quite incredible really the amount of uh, episodes he's actually managed to put out there. I'm still on my first one but I, uh, I have talked um, about restarting very soon. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I've thought about it and I do think the 100th episode will be where I'll leave this, this game and I'll restart on normal mode and we'll do season 2. And hopefully in the future we'll have a, an update from Cold Games which will mean that uh, we'll have a bit more of a map to explore. I think that could be uh, very good. That's what I'm holding out for. I'm hoping we'll get a, a larger map. With a few new interesting uh, structures to check out. Right, let's head... Let's head this way. 
I really want to see what else there is and I'm still hoping I'll be able to come across a lock, locked crate, so... This is the forest area, I think. But this is considered quite a dangerous place to uh, roam about because of all the animals. Need to be mindful of the time. There's a bear in front of us, the other side of that tree. And another bear that way, so that's not looking the best, is it really? We'll head down here. He's up there on the left. We'll head directly in between them for now and hopefully... Ooh, yeah. Oh, there's a wolf coming right at us. He might have to die. There's a lot of crates around here. I'd like to... Uh, I would like to guess. Alright, did he come after us? He did not. Hmm. Right, okay. Here's a small sort of ridge. We'll circle around and hopefully he'll move on. We can grab this crate. Oh my gosh, he ran straight into a bear. I think I might abandon those crates. Where is my base? That way, okay. I'm quite a distance. There's a hill. Oh, there's the fence. Well, that's interesting. Okay, we'll just have a quick look at the top of this hill. Hopefully there's not a bear or anything up here. Okay, so the fence is right there. We'll grab a bit of wood while we're here. The lovely blue flowers area. Right, didn't manage to catch all of those but not too bad. Okay, so fence is this way. So I just want to see, see this area here looks like that's prime, ready for, um, ready to be opened up in my eyes. I'm hoping that's the case. I'm hoping Cold Games has been doing sneaky work on the side without telling us and uh, maybe that fence is going to get pushed back. That would be cool. Is it? Yeah, it's still early. Well, you know, not too bad. Uh, some scrap. We're bound to come across the hunters by uh, circling around the edge of the map like this. I would hope. There's a bear. I'm going to get caught against the fence with this bear. Of boxed myself in there a little bit. That's not the greatest. But this is the furthest I've been. That looks good over there, doesn't it? It's almost a gap there in that fence. How are we doing for food? We should probably eat.
They work a treat, don't they? Let's drink berry water. Nice, okay. We'll make another berry water and we'll eat one blueberry. So we're fully loaded. Let's see what's up here. Time is getting on. But if necessary, we can always put a, a campfire down and wait out the night. I think I'm the complete other side of the map now, so... Now I think where I've um, stumbled upon here is where Ono Koho has his base, if I am correct. Yeah, this looks like the spot. So I may not be able to visit his base as it is built, but I can certainly build, visit the place where it is uh, situated. So I think it's here on this rock base here. Pretty impressive um, build if you haven't seen it. It looks like to me some sort of cruise liner. My house is right over the other side of the map, so I think I'd better head back. Um, yep, this is the little area that he always comes to check. I watch his videos every day. Really enjoy them. He always comes to check this rock. There's usually something on this rock. Oh, that's pretty, pretty cool. There's a... Um, wolf that way. Oh right, we found the rogues. The rogues are in front of us. And quite honestly, I'm just going to go for it. For the other one to catch up. Use this one. Nice. <laughs> well I am getting better at that. We are bleeding. Let's just use a bandage. Awesome. Customary uh, screenshot of course. Cool. Nice. We'll grab your fire. Nice. Okay, we'll carry on this way. Head back home. I think I know where we are now. So I don't think we're too far. Yeah, we're not too far. I should reload the uh, pistol. There is a bear on my right. We'll check for a lock crate round here while we're uh, while we're around. Um, so normally they're under these trees or on the hills just across the way or sometimes down in the grassland just in front of this rock. Occasionally I've found a book by this uh, by this rock as well. Uh, of course there was that one where I found it last thing at night, didn't have a lock pick on me and couldn't find it when I ran back for it so that's always a possibility. We'll, we'll go this way first and they have actually been down here as well as far down as uh, down that way what is that 
Hmm. Hard to tell at this distance. Okay, keep an eye up here. There is a crate down there on the right. Should we... I think we can. Where has that gone now? Oh, it's just buried in the grass. Good, okay, let's head back home then. So quite a successful day. Took out those lovely rogues. It was quite satisfying. A couple of good shots, I think. Um, shame they were uh, at a bit of a distance and um, hidden by foliage, but uh, I'll take it. wolf there. Still got to be careful. Still can be taken down by an animal. We don't have quick reactions. It's uh, pretty easy to get caught out in this game. There's a lot crate. I knew that if I looked around long enough. Alright, let's grab this then. Nice. Good way to end the uh, the run. Uh, a bit of iron. 44. We'll eat a protein bar and we'll eat the egg. Nice. I am in the uh, territory of the hunter there so we'll just give him a bit of room. I like the fact that that uh, banging the um, the login noise gives you a clue that you are a bit too close. I think that's quite a, a nice feature. I've got time if I uh, feel like it to just pop into the base. really haven't used it at all for anything but the idea was to take the hunters on but the way the way it's been so far you know it hasn't hasn't been an issue at all I'll take that bit of ash we've still got three fire starters and in there we've got a couple of fuel fuel bricks do I need one of those in backup We've got a couple of berry waters in there. Let's put one protein bar in there as a real dust emergency. I don't think we even need to leave any of this. It'll be okay. Okay, we'll leave. Whoa, where is he? He sounds really close. Yeah, he's after us. Oh, that really sounded like he was following. <laughs> I don't know where he was. Oh well, we'll head this way. Good. We should get a wolf actually before we uh, finish. Keep the supplies up in the fridge. No point running it if you don't have a nice stock of goods in there. And this tree should have respawned so we could get a few more logs. Let's do that. Okay, so about there. Let's. There we go. 
Don't want to be too close. Try and get the cursor in the centre of the screen, not the centre of the tree. And a little bit over. Yeah, not, not the best. Okay, well we caught a few. Oh, there's a crate right by the fence. Well, we're certainly not short on ammo. We've got another 14 there. Oh, well. There's our lovely base in front of us. Uh, oh, there he is. Let's grab him, shall we? Hello. Hello. Would you like to be lunch? Would you like to turn round? Okay. <laughs> yes, okay. Lovely. We'll have a lovely steak for lunch. Have a little bit of shoulder. Nice. Okay, there's some scrap. Oh, we've got another wolf. I can hear him sniffing. I'm just not sure where he is. Well, I've seen this ammo crate now, so I'm going to stop and get that. Right. Where is this wolf? Oh, there. Okay. Come on. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh gosh. Another bit of shoulder, hopefully. We'll go around behind. There we are. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's reload the shotgun. Get the pistol back out and let's head in. So I'm trying to think how many days it's been since we um, raided the hunters and I don't think it's been very long at all. Wow, we're on level fives, animals. Level fives. Do they need food and water? Let's have a look. Oh, we've got some eggs. We can afford to drop a water in. Um, we are going to need some food. This is all the blueberries I've got. I possibly wasted a little bit there, but that's okay. We don't need any more water right now. I could put the well back on, but we're pretty good for water. Just see if there's anything around. There's another wolf. Do we want another wolf? Uh. Oh. Swipe me. I was a little bit slow there with the old uh, keys. No harm done. Soon stand in front of the fire and get our health back. I probably don't have... Oh, I do. Okay, good. I was going to say I don't have room, but just about. <laughs> yep, so we did reload that and the pistol is already reloaded. <laughs> Get that scrap. <laughs> I love it when they deliver. Uh, there's another wolf. We're not going to go for you though. We'll leave you alone. Excellent. It sounds like the fire's gone out, which is a shame. We will put this food away. 
And we'll... We don't even need to eat right now. I'm going to keep those on me. Okay, let's grab... Well, we've got a fuel brick, so let's get the fire on. Um, pop the light on. Get this stuff put away. More nails. Um, cordage. Iron. More ammo. Probably put that in the fire. Um, everything else I think goes in the other box apart from these things that go upstairs and that goes in the fire. Yep, we've got some more seeds there as well. Okay. So in the fire we'll put the extra fire starting kit. In here go the feathers, already back up to five which is encouraging. Gunpowder and casings, cloth, look at how much cloth we've got. We've got an extra water, more gun parts, perhaps we should do some upgrading. Oh, need to put the fat in the fire to render down. Okay, we'll put the ore away in. Ah, did we actually end up refining any? Yes, we did. And let's split that again and we'll put 13 on to refine now. Keep that going. Just little by little. So we're back up to 48. Perhaps we should do a uh, lockpick. Could always do another lockpick. that extra ammo. I can't remember where I've put that, the other ammo there. We need one bandage and one health kit. Actually, you know what, I'm probably going to make another one. Keep those even numbers. We don't need to make any, it's just... Uh, what do we need? Cloth? That and that, I think, to make a health kit. Yes. Oh, there's the uh, 44 ammo. Perhaps we'll take that out with us next time. And there we've got a few. It definitely seems to be uh, available in the crates, so that's encouraging. And in here we have fertiliser. I suppose I could leave a water up here. Uh, more seeds. Good. Okay, so somewhere in the world the rogues have respawned because it is snowing. And as we saw last episode, they respawn at that point of the night when the snow comes down. So, can't see them here yet. Nothing around us close by. And I don't think I need to uh, grow any more tomatoes or cotton at the moment. Uh, we could make a lockpick. Uh, it's only 18 iron, 4 scrap. How much did we have? We've got 48. We may as well keep one on us, you never know. 4 scrap and a couple of planks, I think it was. How will that leave us for power? Uh, 500 power. Wow. It is going down, but not much. And it will soon kick back up. 250. Should be fine. Morning will be with us soon anyway. I'm hoping we'll be, we'll be fine. Oh, we need to put the wood away. 
I've got 15 arrows even though I haven't made any for ages and that's purely been um, just finding things in lock crates so it's nice. Uh, we'll eat a tomato, we'll take one for the animals and we'll keep one on us because we don't have a great deal of berries. Um, we'll take a we'll take a couple for the animals too. Probably need to run the um, the well. So that's where I'm going to leave this episode. So thank you so much for joining me. A little bit of exploring. Went to visit a couple of uh, other sites of other bases of. Uh, people I watch on YouTube the uh, the lovely Ono Koho and Bish and uh, that was quite cool seeing it from that point of view and we managed to get back home quite quickly and uh, by doing that we actually managed to locate the rogues and take them out quite easily so that was quite satisfying so um, yeah pretty good day all round I think so that's all for now take care and I'll see you again soon thanks for watching